Do you know that amoxicillin slash clavulinic acid or augmentin is the oral equivalent of the ampicillin slash sulbactam or unison? They share a similar spectrum and clinical indications. They are like brothers. Remember, IV augmentin is not available in the USA. We only have an oral form. Both are considered cousins of zosin, piperacillin slash tazobactam. Cousins, not brothers, because they share the same spectrum, but they do have few differences. But let me start with what they share in common. They are all, all here means unison, augmentin, and zosin, active against gram-positive, gram-negative, and anaerobes. They have excellent activity against MSSA and streptococci, including group D streptococci or enterococci, but they do not cover MRSA. All are not reliable against ESBL producing bacteria, use carbapenem instead. All are active against bacteroid fragilis, making them appropriate for intra-abdominal infections. And all require renal dosing adjustment, but not hepatic dosing adjustments. Diarrhea independent of C. diff and dyspepsia like GI symptoms are prominent side effects on all of them. Now let's talk about their differences. Zosin is active against Pseudomonas while Unison and Augmentin are not. Zosin has excellent activity against Enterobacteria C, specifically talking about E. coli, Klebsiella, and Proteus mirabilis. Now, Unison and Augmentin can work, but they are inferior to Zosin and Citraxone in treating such infections, and I will not use them for empiric treatment for such bacteria. On the other hand, Unison has a better coverage against Acetinobacter. This is mainly attributed to the Sulbactam part of Unison. This means Unison Unison brother Augmentin does not share this activity against Acinetobacter. Now Unison has a better blood-brain barrier penetration compared to Zosin of course. Now in clinical practice you will see Unison is mainly used in the following settings. ENT specialists love Unison and they commonly use it for infections like tonsillar, retropharyngeal abscesses, parapharyngeal abscesses, Ludwig angina or any deep neck space infections. Also Unison is excellent in human, cat and dog bite wounds infection and in general in the skin and soft tissue infections as long as MRSA is not suspected. It comes in IV and IM forms while Zosin comes in IV only and Augmentin has only oral form available in the USA. To wrap this up, yes, you can use Unison and Pacillin Sulbactam instead of Zosin in empirical antibiotic treatment unless a pseudomonal infection is suspected or if the infection is thought to be secondary to E. coli, Klebsiella, or Proteus, as in pyelonephritis or UTI, Zosin or Ciftriaxone are more reliable in such infections until we get the culture and sensitivity back. Thanks for watching.